heard days of moon. Right there. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and we're live via Skype from Los Angeles, California, with Jonathan Castro. He's submitted videos that are quite incredible right here at Third Phase of Moon, and he's sharing this new exclusive. Jonathan, welcome to Third Phase of Moon. Hi, thank you. Well, wow, tell me about Robert Bingham. Apparently, you've learned how to summon UFOs from the man himself. And uh, what was happening during this time, this cylindrical object in the sky that we're looking at right now? It was uh, the orange tube shaped one I just got. Uh, once, I just, you know, it took me like three minutes, within three minutes it came. And it was the first time I've ever got something like that, of that shape and the way it forms, the way it moves and movements. Uh, that's the first time I get something like that. Uh, besides that first shape-shifting UFO that I've got, and I sent that to you. Um, I was, I looked at it, I could see it with grooves, I could see like there were orbs inside of it and uh, I just kept the camera there and once I, I know I knew something was going to happen because it's just a matter of time before something happens, but sure enough there's an orb behind it, a UFO an orb which moves from left to right and then there's the part like in the 10 minute 54 second mark where it actually broke in half and the orb comes out from the bottom and just moves to the right. What I did notice during the review well, during the pro during the time of actually filming, I didn't notice that that other orb at the very top. And once I reviewed it, then I saw the second orb on way on top. That's where the other orb was uh, following. And then I just kept the camera on the two uh, pink, the pink shaped uh, tube. And I saw the way it moved, and it just kept on going in circles, kept on going. It's not like balloons don't do that. I don't care what people say. Balloons don't do that. I've, uh, I'm getting more and more experience with this and learning. The way they come, the way that with the movements they do, and I've, I've uh, it's a, it's actually they give you a, a teaching. They give you things. They don't just come just to. They can hey, I'm here. I'm just to see them. It's not like that. It's it's they teach you things, and it's uh, you know, for this part, this new one that came, this uh, orange tube-shaped UFO. Um, well, I still have to figure out and research for myself what exactly it came for. What what was the point for that one? They're not just gonna come just to say hi and show you here. Um, but I did, I did, I do, I do, uh, did notice that they're, they're inside that too. Uh, what it is, I currently don't know, you know, I just have to research on research. That's what it's about. Well, exactly right. We're looking at the video and the tube was a tube in itself. Then all of a sudden it split apart. And then, then there was two UFOs right next to it. it what, what balloon does that? You have two phenomena going on at the exact same time. It was, it was a quite incredible catch. Yeah, people, people who don't have an eye for this, of course they're gonna call it balloons immediately. Uh, that's all they wanna do. It's either just because they're ignorant and they don't wanna do their own research or because they just wanna be disinformants. So who knows who pays them for that? But uh, when you do summoning and it's very easy, anybody can do it. Um, it's, it's just a matter of time before you get it. The first time I summoned, it, it happened. It came immediately. It was four cylinder objects in a circular formation and then they took off. It was real close to me with maybe two to 300 feet. Um, but anybody can do this. It's not It's not a matter of, it doesn't matter what people say. Anybody can do it, just try it. If you don't try it and you talk, 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 then what's the point, you know? You don't, you don't, you have to try it for yourself and realize what you can do, what you're capable of. You're not just human, it's more of a, a spiritual thing. And not religious, I'm talking about spiritual thing. That's what it is. Well, that's quite interesting. And we know, and we've uh, put up this new event coming up on November 10th, 2013, Holladell Park. We've, uh, Robert Bingham, the man who summons UFOs, got the word out right here. And then now Fausto Perez, Jim Martin, and yourself, we've just learned tonight, Jonathan Castro. Now four people that can summon UFOs all in one place, November 10th, Holladell Park. Man, this is gonna be amazing, Jonathan. It's gonna be good. I'm sure there's a, a lot more people out there that can do the summoning, but are scared to come forward for who knows what reasons. And they should come forward. I mean, there should, not, should be nothing to hide. Don't be, don't fear anybody. Society likes to bring fear into people. Don't do that. Don't be fearing anybody. Just come out and show yourself. Come to the park. Come to uh, Holiday Park on Sunday, and we'll all meet each other and you know swap conversations. That's what's good. It's all about communicating. If there's no communication, then there's nothing going on. You have to communicate with each other and stop the fear. What are the uh, what people come to this event? We're inviting skeptics, debunkers to show up. What do you think they're going to be walking away with after uh, Sunday's 
Are they gonna? Are we gonna be capturing something incredible over there with video cameras ready, ready to roll there? You know, any, anything can happen because when you do summoning, uh, you of course you have to be positive, and something something will come. Now, how does it come? Who knows how it's gonna come? But you can't just say, yeah, I'm 100 percent sure it's gonna come, or you know what, maybe it won't come. It, who knows? These are like, a, it's not a spaceship or anything like that. It's a spirit orbs or spirit forms. If you notice in all video, whatever video I have or Robert has, uh, mostly they're not metallic spaceships. It's more of a spiritual thing. It's orbs or different types of crafts. It's not really like a man. Sometimes they're random, sometimes they're not, but it depends on that current day and what they want to show the person that's summoning or the crowd that's there. Uh, it's all, you know, I believe they follow their own perimeters. Jonathan, I really want to thank you for joining us right here at Third Phase Moon, sharing your incredible footage with the viewers from around the world and this November 10th event, Hollowdale Park. Thanks again, Jonathan. Any last words for our viewers and the world? Uh, hopefully a lot of people come out this Sunday and I'll be there. And, you know, feel free to talk to me, Robert, Fausto, and Jim. And, you know, I'm not going to say educated, but come out and we can teach you how to do this. It's very easy. Anybody can do it. Any person in the world can do it. Don't fall for whatever uh, lies they tell you, whether it's the internet or uh, anybody else. Anybody can do it. Just keep an open mind and it's possible. Jonathan, I really want to thank you again. And remember, for the world, November 10th, Los Angeles, California, Hollidell. Be there and find out for yourself. And you will probably see something quite amazing, I guarantee it. Everybody out there, keep your eyes on the skies. And we'll see you again next time. Whoa, it's gonna move that somewhere. Oh, what the hell? That is interesting right there. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Wow, let's see here. They're just separated here. You gotta, gotta go for at the bottom, and you got these two separated. Wow, that's amazing right there. Oh, man. That is something. Keep a long zoom, zoom out here. Try to keep uh, all three on the screen. Oh, it's leaving. Just this. These two here. I want to zoom out too much, you might lose it. But uh, stick with this one here. Flying. Optic. Flying.